guys, I am Christina. Welcome back to my channel where I discuss luxury and lifestyle. So for everyone who has been DMing me, shout out to you guys. I truly appreciate it. All the encouragements, all the you can do it, all the you have to do it. I truly appreciate it. So seeing the title, you could 100% understand why my balcon tea collection is out. I know I need to do a video touring or showing you guys my china um, collection from Hermes, but I thought this was the perfect timing. While I'm discussing with you guys, I'll pour myself a, you know, some tea. Anywho, let's jump into it. So, I totally understand. Um, we have like a lot of people who are trying to get, you know, quarter bags, whether it's Birkins, Kellys, you know, um, mini Kellys, whatever you're trying to get. I do understand that the information is not readily available. Um, however, it's not that it's not readily available. I think that, you know, a lot of people in the Hermes community has literally put the fear of God in a lot of people that you guys don't, um, you know, we really know who to turn to when you guys have certain questions. Um, so this video is not only to point out the things that you should not be just walking up to someone and asking them or DMing them and asking them and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't do it or why you should try not to do it like to each their own. We're all adults. We're free to do whatever we want to do. But you don't want to become a nuisance. You don't want to be blocked by someone, you know, and you don't want to come off, you know, rude. So... This is something that I've noticed like a lot um, since I've started um, in this um, community. So I definitely thought that it would be great to actually come and talk to you guys about it. Um, and not only that, like actually give you guys ways in order to get this um, information. So as I mentioned before I ever continue, this is the Balcone collection. Um, I finished my entire collection. I'm a Virgo. That means if I start something, I have to finish it ASAP. So I actually flew out to Paris and I got most of my balcon stuff there and as well as my home store um, in Miami. Um, this, my essay was so amazing in Miami. Let's hope I'm not flashing you guys. Let me put my... Um, so amazing in Miami to give me this um, tea. Um, I would have said tea jar or something. I have my Jamaican ginger tea. I don't know if it's, you know, the light on it is horrible, but listen. Um, so, yeah. So, let's jump into it. Number one thing not to ask people, and I know the things that I'm going to say is going to sound very petty, is do not ask people who is their essay. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not ask people who is their essays. If you shop at the same store as someone and you happen to see them with that essay, fine. If you and someone share the same essay, fine. But just because someone is getting a bag from a particular essay, that doesn't mean that that's the only essay that is giving out bags there. So if you go sign up with that essay, then you're going to get a bag. No. I have a lot of pet peeves with the Hermes um, um, game, and I, it's literally a game. And one of the biggest is literally someone asking me who is my essay. And again, as I said, I know it might sound petty as hell, but what happens is this. I'm gonna take myself out of the equation. Say Sarah and Mary, um, basically are friends, um, or just they DM each other, something, just something. They just come into some form of communication. And Sarah's um, SA, which is sales agent, is say Sonia. Sonia gives Sarah um, a bag and Mary says that, you know, realize that Sonia, um, Sarah just got a bag. She's going to reach out to Sonia and says, hey, Sonia, just checking to see if you have anything. Then when Sonia says, I don't, she's going to say, well, I just saw Sarah got a bag. Hermes does that to you where it can let you become very petty. So in order to let peace reign, do not ask anyone who is their essay. If you don't know, you just don't know. And as I'm laughing or as I'm sounding animated, it's because I see this daily. Daily, I see this. So for me, I don't, if like one time, I remember I was at a dinner and this is when I started learning. And I remember, yeah, I'm gonna use it this way. And I remember when, um, you know, someone asked someone their essay at dinner, and the person says, I'd rather not say. And to me, I'm like, 
that is so weird like why would you rather not say that is like so weird and let me tell you within two months i realized why why don't say do not say because understand that anything that comes from that essay that someone does not get and you got something it's going to be a problem another reason why you should not tell anyone who your essay is and again i'm like so animated with this because this is like so crazy it's because like for example um some people kind of have this snitching thing that they'll do they'll act like it's innocent but it's not where for instance say you base and the thing is they don't even know the relationship that you and your sales agent have every sales agent can have a complete different relationship with each of their clients so for instance say your essay is like okay you know like um i remember i wanted this particular item which was like a saddle box and my essay did not have it my i i my essay is the one who told me like okay but this store has it i could reach out to them for you to basically get it so you could have gotten that and somebody saw you at that store and then reach out to your essay like hey did you see that that person went here yes it happens it's a very curious um community so yes that is the reason why for me one i don't like when people ask me who my essay is um and two that's the reason why you should not ask i get it like you might say to yourself that you do have good intentions but majority does not because again it's not that they're bad people but this game can turn turn girls into high school girls again so yes you do not ask that one of the other are the next um you know things that you do not do is basically asking someone how much they paid for their bag and I know you're gonna be like, but I'm trying to know so I could buy. Call the store. Walk into your store. I have never heard anyone says that they went into Hermes and they asked so much for a bag and they said they cannot tell them. That is someone's personal information. If this person chooses to relay this information to you a hundred percent. I always tell people, I don't ask, maybe you could be having a conversation, I'm not gonna question you. You relay as much information that you feel like you want to relay. If you want to relay all of your information, fine. If you don't want to, it is just as fine. Because this is what happens. Someone tells you, you ask someone, okay, how much they pay for the bag? Nine out of 10, they're probably gonna feel uncomfortable. Or right, two, they're probably gonna tell you and then you're gonna run with this figure. And then say you go to your store and they said, okay, it's actually more than that. You're like, but Sarah told me this. I'm telling you again, it gets to a high school thing. My biggest pet peeve of all, or the worst thing you can ask me, is how much money I had to spend at Hermes in order to get offered a bag or how much money I have spent the entire time that I've been working with um, Hermes to get a bag. Let me just pour my tea because this one is going to go a little bit more deep. And of course I do have my silver um, Hermes which I have to actually be shining these um, at least once a month I have to shine them. This I got in um, my essay, got them for me too. So yeah, um, the next thing as I mentioned is my biggest pet peeve is how much money did I spend at Hermes? Guys, I don't even care if you're close to me. Don't ask me that question. I do not care. Like you need to understand that this is bag that is like, um, not only you buy them for so much, you say they're worth so much money, they're so valuable. Um, you're also talking about people's well-being. You know, like for instance, if a stranger asks me a question like that that I don't know what kind of pain, how do I know that it's not a criminal that is asking me that? How do I know it's not a robber that's asking me that? And, and what if it's a good person who's asking me that? But then, um, because it's something that is so like unique or something that you might not hear every day, you might screenshot my picture, um, or video and say, hey, you know, this girl, she says she spent, you know, just throwing a number that she spent, she said she spent a dollar and then she was able to get this. So now what you then do is go to your essay and say, oh, I spent that and I didn't get that, but this girl spent this and she got that, whether it's high or low. Or for example, say we happen to share the same essay or we shop in the same um, store. You basically like show my picture and say, oh, but she shops here with such and such or she shops here with you and she was able to get it and I wasn't able to get it. That is the reason why I'm saying, guys, like, cut it out. The information that you might need, just call the store. Call the store and get that information. Let me take a sip. 
Oh my god, ginger teas are the best. In Jamaica, you have a headache, you drink ginger tea. You know, you break a leg, you drink ginger tea. Your head hurting, you drink ginger tea. You know, probably have a heart attack, you drink ginger tea. <laughs> it literally fixes everything. Um, so yeah. Um, that's another thing that you basically do not ask under any um, circumstance. Like it is such a personal um, information and all. And then I think what happened is that sometimes, you know, you would probably think that you go into your essay and say that, oh, I spent more money than this person, which again, I've like experienced all of it. Everything I'm telling you guys, is literally what I see like face value. Um, this person might be like, oh, but you know, um, I spent more money than them and I didn't get the, um, the bag that they basically wanted. So now what you do, what they think that, what you end up doing with your essay is literally like jeopardizing your own relationship. Because though know, you're being extremely catty, you're being combative. So now what it might be is like, hmm, you're a problem. You're literally like turning into a problem to your essay. So you're not the most favorable person to your essay right now. And that is just not good. And I get it. It might be like, oh, you know, um, but it's not fear. It's not this. The game is not fear, child. The game is not fear. Okay. It is not. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. We're literally begging to spend money on getting two bags per country. Cause again, you can shop outside um, of the country and stuff like that. And I don't think your essay would even have a problem with that. Cause it's not like you live outside of the country where you're doing it like weekly. Um, but yeah, um, there's a particular time one of my friends, um, mom got a Himalayan with diamonds in a Kelly um, offered to her. If you know or you watch my other videos, you know I'm like dying to get a Himalayan right now. And again, I do not buy my, um, you know, I guess I just like the toxic energy. I guess it's a go getter me and me being a businesswoman. So I wanted to get it 100% from the store. So my friend mom scored it, right? And I wanted to know like, hmm, that's the Himalayan, it's a whole different ball game and stuff like that. So I said, instead of like, I said, the thing is I made it clear, I said, um, hey, so, I don't want to come off rude or like I'm in your business. However, did your mom have to spend the same amount of money that she spent for the Himalayan bag, which is $250,000, I think. Did she have to spend that amount before she was offered the bag? She says, no. Okay, full stop. No. Why did I ask? And how did I ask it? We went for a tea time um, one day. They actually had this awesome tea time in um, St. Regis in Ball Harbor area if you're in Miami. Definitely go check it out. And she said, oh my God, can you imagine? She said, oh my God, how much do you think the, the Himalayan with um, diamonds go for? And then I, you know, I'm like, um, I don't know. She's like, yes. I'm like, I don't know. She's like, $250,000. I'm like, for real? And then she's like, yeah. And I said, oh, okay. So when she got the bag offered to her, no. That's when I said, did she have to spend the $250,000 in order to get it? The reason why is because she's the one who told me how much the bag cost without me even asking. That's number one. And number two, I still didn't even ask her how much mo money her mother had to spend to get it. I just simply asked, did she have to spend the full amount for the bag before she got the bag offered? She says no. No. Would she, um, if she wanted to tell me more information about it, she would. Was I mad that she didn't? No, not at all. Like literally, not at all. We're not even, we don't even shop at the same store anymore. So not at all. So that's the reason I'm saying is like, you know, I see people who, um, you know, message me. There's friends who would like ask me stuff like that. And I told them like, you know, like I'll tell them certain things, like especially if I could remember it. But then, you know, if something come and I say, oh, did you ask that person? I'm like, no, they're like, why would you ask? And I'm like, why would I ask? She, then they'll be like, oh, but I asked you. And I said, have you ever heard me ask you? They're like, yeah, but we're friends. And I'm like, I don't care. That's personal information. I am not intrusive. If you wanted me to know, you could have 100% just said it out in the open. Now, as I mentioned, is that someone could be your friend today, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be your friend tomorrow, next year, 10 years from now, and stuff like that. And again, this is financial thing, and we know how people are when it comes down to money. So you, I'm, I might be like, okay, I'm telling my friend this. My friend has another friend, and the other friend has another friend, and the other friend has another friend. And that is literally how information transfers. Now, you could be out and uh, one time people see these bags, they wouldn't know how much they're worth. But no, instead of people are literally trying to rob a Rolex, then the rob a Rolex, grab the Birkin. 
<laughs> so that's literally, you know, like the three top things. I, I don't even know where my phone is to see what else I put on it. But that's one of like the three um, top things that is like such a big no-no. Um, it does come off rude. Um, I get it. You're probably not trying to. But like put yourself in the person's position as if you're literally asking them about their financial, um, you know, history, period. Whether it's with her meds, whether it's with their just themselves or not. Like, no, there's different ways to word um, certain things to get certain information. And as I mentioned, if you're just trying to get to know how much a bag costs, call the store. You know, if you want to say, okay, how much money do I need to spend to get that? Then, of course, you're going to have to sit and figure out a way in order to come up with a strategy that you can talk to your SA and get that answer without directly using the words have to spend because they don't like that. You know, you could basically say, like, how long it would take, you know, um, are you basically doing everything that you need to do in order to get that particular item and stuff. But, yes, like, I get it. Some people don't mind telling you straight up, you know, what they're doing, how much money they're spending, but you cannot make the assumption for everyone. And then you don't want to make the assumption, and then when someone doesn't follow through, you get upset or think that, oh, they're being snotty. That's so good. So... Um, I hope that um, video was um, super, um, you know, informative. I think anytime I'm coming out to do anything that has to do with, you know, educating or, you know, some form of knowledge, um, I'm definitely going to bring out one of my tea sets and we're definitely going to take it from there.